All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a people effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. So this media end one, which is this video, we are going to add the main effect straight away, which is the dent effect. Click on add. And from the type, we will set this to dent two, and we will increase the size like so. And then we will change the strength. So what we are essentially trying to do is we want to create this bend in the walls over here. You can see the door is kind of bend, has this bend over here. And same thing goes with the walls. The entire corridor has this bend. And this is exactly what we are looking for. Now we want to create that people effect. And for that, we will, after this dent one, we will add in a background node. So you can click on the very first icon, add in a background. We will then add in a mask to this background. So search for this lips and just drag that and put it before the background and connect it as an input mask. And we have this mask over here and then we will click on this inward checkbox. Now our video will be in this um, in this mask over here. Now the next thing that we want to do is we will go to the ellipse over here and we'll increase the soft edge a little bit like that. And I'm also going to change the size of this ellipse like so. And you can go to the dent over here and you can change the position as well. So you can sort of move it right over here and kind of focus where the face of this guy is. And yeah, that looks that looks really good. So of the merge one, we will add in a blur. Search for blur, increase the size. And then we will add in another ellipse to this. And then we will reduce the size like so. On this ellipse tool, we will click on invert. And make sure we have this uh, blur right on the edges. And then we will increase the soft edge as well. So this, if I just select the blur and disable this, this is before and this is after. There is this slight blurry at the edges. So the blur we will add in uh, search for prism blur. Click on add. And we will add another ellipse mask to this. And let's take a look at this prism blur. And you can just select that and increase the strength. And you see that it adds this uh, RGB effect. We want this effect to be on the edges as well. Now in the ellipse, we will just increase the soft edge and reduce the size. And we want to make sure that this is set to invert. And uh, you can see now prism blur is only visible on the edges. So yeah, you can definitely control the size right over here. Uh, but once you're satisfied, you can you have this uh, people effect. I hope this was helpful. I hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.